How's it again, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for The Flash Season 9, Episode 9, which was titled, It's My Party, and I'll Die If I Want To. Now, this was the big episode. We have been talking about this episode for weeks. The trailer had been building up hype for this episode. Of course, this is the one where none other than Oliver Queen returns and a bunch of other characters we got to see diggle again this episode we got to see wally again this episode and even captain singh or chief singh now i guess um so you know that was kind of cool but obviously there was a lot of hype surrounding this episode just going into it and i'm sure a lot of people had relatively high expectations for it i myself included and, you know, if you've been watching my reviews for this season so far, you'll know that I haven't been a super big fan of it. There's been a few decent episodes, maybe, but the past two specifically were not good. Maybe even the past three, honestly. Uh, it's just, it's been a little crummy. So I was really looking forward to this episode in particular. And overall, it's time to answer the question, did this episode live up to the hype, so to speak? Was it good? And uh, the answer to that is... I mean, I guess, I'm not super confident on the answer, but I enjoyed myself, and it was cool. However, I do think it was maybe a little cheap in certain areas. You know, definitely was trying to play on your nostalgia as much as possible. But I mean, I kind of love that as well, to a degree, of course. But, you know, there are, like, certain moments in this episode where I'm just kind of like, eh whatever, and uh, I'm so disconnected from the Arrowverse nowadays, I mean, I've kind of grieved it now that it's been so many years uh, well, since Arrow ended, and I mean, the Arrowverse is kind of donezo, you know what I mean? I mean, it's over, especially after this season of The Flash, I mean, it's over, <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of been over for a while, so I've kind of already grieved the death of the Arrowverse but it still was cool that we got this episode overall, and I liked it, okay? I'm not going to be super negative in this review, but I, you know, I'm still trying to be honest. I do think moments could have been uh, a little better, could have been a little more impactful, and I think a lot of this just comes down to me being so disconnected from the Arrowverse nowadays and uh, not really caring that much anymore. I mean, I still do care a little bit, which is why I did like certain things about this episode, and we'll get into that later. But, uh, you know, yeah, it was okay, man. You know, this is Barry's uh, 30th birthday party, and uh, they're all having a great time. It's all cool. And then suddenly the drink seemed to have been poisoned, and then it's revealed that blood work is back, which uh, that was kind of cool to see him return as well. Ramsey, you know, from season six, he's a, he's a cool villain. He's a decent villain, not going to lie. Uh, he's not, like, up there. You know, he's no Thawne, you no know, Savitar or Zoom, but, you know, he's great. Uh, honestly, and he was pretty great in this episode, you know, it's, it's a little bit of an intense performance, um, he's just, he's so evil, to be honest, especially just his mannerisms, the way he speaks, it's, uh, sends a chill down your spine a little bit, but it was cool to see him again, he apparently escaped from Argus, and, um, yeah, that was pretty great, and then we see that he actually ends up taking over Wally's mind. I did like what they did with Wally in the episode. I will say he's a he's a complex character, Wally. You know, he does have a bit of a traumatic past with his mother and his childhood not really being the best. And I like how they kind of mention that and kind of play into that a lot in the episode. Uh, I think it worked quite quite well for his character, um, where Bloodworks kind of taken over his mind and Wally's kind of going a little evil. He's becoming a blood brother, I believe they're called. I don't know if they're necessarily zombies, but they basically are. So if I call them zombies, the uh, people blood work kind of infects. Forgive me. They basically are zombies because he's controlling them and that's what a zombie is, you know, controlled. Um, but, you know, I do like what they did with Wally and then actually, it was pretty crazy actually. Wally ends up killing Barry which was uh, pretty surprising. And then uh, Barry meets Oliver in the afterlife, or the Spectre realm, or whatever. On Lee and you, which I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, Barry actually did die. Like, it's confirmed, like, no, Barry is dead. And Oliver admits this to him. And it was great, you know, that reunion. It was, uh, it was cool. And uh, then we are finding out more about blood work and how he's going to end up taking control of the multiverse if he has Wally by his side. And then uh, Oliver's like, all right, I can bring you back to Earth or, you know, to the land of the living. But uh, Barry doesn't actually want to go for a moment. He uh, he has doubts about it. And uh, basically, he works it out with Oliver and they end up going back. And Oliver 
goes back with Barry to the land of the living. <laughs> and uh, he's Green Arrow again. He's in his Green Arrow suit. It looks great. You know, I, I do love that final season Green Arrow suit. It looks awesome. And then obviously the bow is there because Diggle brought it to the party. Because uh, I forgot to mention this, Diggle wanted Barry to have Oliver's bow, which is a nice gesture, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but, you know, it was just, it felt, it felt kind of convenient so Oliver could have his bow again, but uh, for it to be at the party. But, you know, it was, that's a very small nitpick, but it was great to see Oliver just kicking some ass. Back is Green Arrow. We got to see him say, you have failed the city to Ramsey. That was pretty awesome. I did enjoy that. And also the Diggle and Oliver reunion scene. I really did enjoy that scene. Uh, it was really emotional to see them back again. And uh, again, kicking some ass together. That was pretty sweet. Um, but long story short, they all stop blood work. And uh, Wally is uh, no longer evil because Barry talks him out of it. Which is good. <laughs> and I, I liked what they did with Wally this episode. I really did. And um, towards the end of the episode... After that's done, that final scene with Barry and Oliver was also pretty emotional. Um, that was probably the single most emotional episode, or single most emotional scene of the episode for sure. Um, I don't know; it was just it was just kind of sad and a little melancholy, and it was good though. And uh, Oliver telling Barry that that lightning chose him was uh, you know a nice callback because that's what Oliver has been saying to Barry all along, and uh, it's great. You know, I did like that scene. And it was a it was a good episode. It just didn't blow me away necessarily, um, but you know, like it's definitely the best episode of the season by a long shot. Easily the best episode of the long in by a long shot. But let me hear your thoughts on the episode down in the comments below. What did you guys think about this? Did it live up to your expectations? I am uh, incredibly curious to see what you guys have to say about it because you know we have been looking forward to this one for a while, but. Yeah, let me hear all your thoughts down below. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out my Letterboxd and Twitter down in the description. Peace.